Yes, considering the amount of benefits that will be obtained by football clubs if they're conducting an IPO, football observers trying to analyze some numbers of football clubs that most likely ready to be listed in Indonesia Stock Exchange. And in this segment, we will check another football clubs that being considered ready to do an IPO in the near future. What uh, is the list of the um, football clubs that potential to conduct an IPO in the near future. The first one is Persib, and then we got Persija and Arema. Previously on Bali United IPO, Igde Nyoman Yetna, as the company's assessment director of Indonesia Stock Exchange, said that Arema, Persija Jakarta, and Persib Bandung had the huge potential to carry out follow-up actions. For Arema, Indonesia Stock Exchange has approached the football team by holding a meetup in the last month before Raya. In the other hand, Persib Bandung reportedly plans to follow after seeing the potential response of the initial public offering from investors, especially the community of football lovers. Better yet, Persija Jakarta, through its CEO, Ferry Paulus, explained that the currently the process uh, is still uh, the audit stage before conducting an initial public offering. And what are the list of benefits if one football club carrying out IPO? Let's see the next slide. Here's the list of the benefit that will be collected by the football club if they're conducted an IPO. The first one is transparency and credibility on club's financial funding. Grid funds equal grid players, using supporter to contribute an accuracy of salaries for players. Football clubs can get adequate funds by offering several shares that will be released to the public. Adequate funds can bring grid players, then the club is definitely developing more achievements and investments. Another advantage gained is that the club's credibility will rise, the selling value of the club also rises, and of course it can be free promotion to increase increase the prestige of the club. This is a line of advantages that football clubs can get if they are willing to release ownership shares to the public. In terms of football players, it will affect the steadiness of players about the accuracy of salaries. The list of IPO benefits on football club lead us to check the list of conventional efforts to finance the club. What are actually uh, the strategies that, you know, had been implemented by various uh, football clubs in Indonesia to finance their uh, club? The first one or the first strategy uh, by, you know, selling the ticket for the uh, match, sponsorship, TV deals, transfer players, merchandise and champion league. Among of all ways to get fund, sponsorship is the most effective way to get funds. Brand pay a huge amount of money for clubs to advertise them. For example, Chevrolet pays Manchester United roughly fifty million pounds per year to have their logo on the name of the uh, United uh, jersey. Adidas, uh, another example, pays uh, United another seventy-five million pounds per year to sponsor the kids. So the next data will be the list of richest football club in Indonesia. This is uh, quite interesting. The first one, we got Persib Bandung with the um, value of the, uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, asset reaching 2.24 trillion rupiah. After Persib, we got Persijaya with the value of the um, asset of the club, 2.19 trillion rupiah. After that, we got Persipura, 1.31 trillion rupiah, and uh, uh, Mitra Kukar um, with the uh, amount of the uh, value of the uh, club reaching uh, 1.29 trillion rupiah. This is the list of the four richest Indonesian clubs in 2019 based on Forbes magazine which are calculated from the current annual expenditure in 2018 to 2019. The first order of the richest clubs in Indonesia is Parsi Bandung. The team nicknamed Maung Bandung is known as a popular club so the value of Persib sponsorship contract is also the biggest in the Indonesian League One. Even Persib once hooked world-class players like Michael Hussain with a big salary. Based on Forbes, Persib Bandung's annual expenditure reached 2.24 trillion rupiah, making Persib the Forbes richest club in Indonesia. And next, the giant uh, West Java club reportedly plans to follow after seeing the potential response of the IPO from investors, especially the community of football lovers. Then the next data will be about um, Indonesia's richest football players.
who are they? We're going to see that. The first one is um, Bambang Pamungkas with, um, you know, the uh, salary buyer uh, reaching, uh, oh, no, no, the, the, um, the most richest we got, Greg Mio 1.8 billion rupiah per year. And then after that, we got uh, Irfan Bahdim with the salary reaching uh, 1.56 billion rupiah per year and Bambang Pamungkas, 1.3 billion rupiah per year. When you try to think the world's wealthiest footballers, it's natural to have your mind immediately flipped to the likes of Lionel Messi, Neymar, uh, or Cristiano Ronaldo, or perhaps simply a uh, formidable player playing for a top-class European club. But actually, Indonesian footballers also have fantastic Income through yearly income. We would like to gather data for the richest football players in Indonesia. There are three names: Babang Pamungkas, Greg uh, Nuokolo, and Irfan Bahdim. For detail, the Bali United striker Irfan Bahdim was mentioned as the player with the most expensive contract at Tridatu Army during the negotiation process with the Bali United management team, which took place in 2017. Bahdim had time to propose a fee uh, amount of 130 million. Uh, rupiah per month. If it uh, is true that the Bahdim request uh, was granted, then ex Sapporo Hokkaido Konsado player will receive a salary of 1.56 billion per year. And that's it for uh, today's graphic. And stay tuned on Market Headlines because we'll be right back after the break.